Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at solving equations for the, a given variable. And sometimes uh, there are two variables within the equation and we have to uh, isolate that variable. So this, this problem I'm pulling from uh, CPM and this is course three, so CC3. And this is section 5.1.1 and specifically number 5-6. So it says solve each equation below for the indicated variable if possible. Show all steps. So for A, it wants us to solve for X. So again, anytime you're told to solve for whatever variable, the whole goal is to take this equation right now and I and I bring down my equation divider here, right? Wherever the equal sign is, we know we have two sides of an equation. The whole goal is to figure out what that variable is. So get everything on one side of the equal sign and just the single variable on the other. So that's the process, right? In this case, there's only an, a, an X term and the rest are all integers. So really we're just looking in this case, we will get a number, an answer that is a number, right? There's some value of X that makes this equation true. You could probably even look at this two times something plus 22 is 12. So you may even be able to play the guess and check game to kind of determine what that number is. But if not, we go through the process of solving our, our, our equation and solving equations, right? Your first step is to simplify if possible, meaning distribute, combine like terms, but there is nothing to do there. Then you need to start isolating the variable term, right? So my variable term is 2x. So I'm going to get that alone first. I'm going to isolate that on this side. So I'm going to, to do that, I've got to get rid of the minus or the 22. So it's a plus 22. So I subtract 22. That makes that go away. And what you do to one side of the equation, that's why I've got this equation wall there. You balance it, you do the other. So now we have 12 and negative 22 makes negative 10. So I have 2x equals negative 10. And then the last step is always divide by the coefficient. So that way this X becomes a one X. That's what we want. So two divided by two is one. So there's my one X. So what you do to one side, you also do the other. So we end up with negative 10 divided by two is negative five. So in this case, I get an answer for X, X as negative five. Part B says solve for Y. So here's an equation now. Once again, my equation two X minus Y equals three. I have an equation and I want my Y, it says solve for Y, so I want Y alone. I want to isolate the Y, uh, the variable Y. So I've got to get rid of everything on this side. And first of all, I, I just double check. There's only a Y on this side. There's no Y terms over here. So I'm already good. I've already got my Y on the right side. I want it. But now I got to get rid of everything else, right? Everything else in this case is going to be this positive 2X. So to get rid of that, you do negative 2X or subtract 2X. Positive 2x, negative 2x, cancel out. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. Now, how do I clean this up? Here's my next step. So if I look at this, I've got that 2x disappeared. So I have this minus y. What does that mean? That means it's a negative 1y is what I'm, I'm left with on this side. Minus y means a negative y or negative 1y. And over here, 3 minus 2x, those are not like terms. So I can't combine them. So I just write them separately. And I always tend to put the variable term first than the constant okay so that way when i when i'm asked the question about y equals mx plus b i can tell you what the m and the b is as long as i put it in that form so when i have a y equals situation i usually try to put it in that form last thing is i have a minus y minus one y negative one y but i want it to positive one y so i have to divide by negative one negative one divided by negative one is one y so i'm good so, but what you do to one side, you do to the other, but keep in mind, you, you don't just divide it all by negative one. You divide each individual by negative one. Each term has to be affected because you're doing it. You're doing division. You're distributing the division across all terms. So negative two divided by negative one is positive two X. And then a positive three divided by negative one is a negative three. So we can just change that to be minus three. So this right here is the answer for B y equals 2x minus 3. That's solving for y. Okay, here's another one. This time I want me to solve for x. So if I look to see what I have, I have, looks like 2x plus 15 equals 2x minus 15. So we have x's, but no other variables. So that means I just got to try to get my x on either side. But 
when I try to do that, you notice what's going to happen here is if I do the opposite of subtracting 2x from this side and I subtract 2x from this side, it actually cancels out on both sides. So when that happens, when the variable cancels, we got to determine whether does that mean that x can be anything or x has no solution, right? So I look to see what's left. I have this 15 on one side and negative 15 on the other. Is that a true statement? No, they're not equal. So therefore, this means that x has no solution x has no solution right and and let me explain why because if, again you were looking for a number in the original equation that i could put in place of that x so two times something plus 15 will it ever equal two times the same thing minus 15 right that's that's impossible i'll never have a number plus 15 and another number the same number minus 15 and they be equal right that'll never be equal you can't take away 15 and add 15 to the same thing and you get the same, you get equal numbers. So no solution. Last one, D, solve for Y. So once again, this is a situation where I want to get Y alone. So I need to, I need to uh, get rid of this 6X, right? Get it over here because I want Y alone. So I'm going to subtract 6X from this side. That gets rid of from that side, subtract 6X. And what am I left with? Over here, I'm left with a positive 2Y is equal to and I, I have a 10 minus 4, minus 6x, right? They, they can't combine, so I'm going to write them separately. But I always put the variable term first, negative 6x plus 10. Still need my y completely alone. I have a 2y. I need it to be a 1y, so I divide by 2. And remember what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other, and you do it to each of the terms. Divide by 2 to each of them. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3x. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my final answer here would be y equals negative 3x plus 5. Okay. There we go.